I think we're in. We're in! Yay! <laughs> Hi everyone, happy Sunday, happy self-care Sunday, okay? Welcome, my name is Antoinette Williams, founder of FAB, Personal Growth and Development. FAB stands for Focus, Attitude, Behavior, Focus on Your Attitude, to Change Your Behavior, Why? Because change begins within. So for today's edition of Self-Care Sunday, we have a guest, the amazing, the incredible, the super dope Big Sis. Would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Mm -hmm. You you put a little too much emphasis on me. I'm just Ish. Aisha is my name. She's Ish is my nickname. I'm just out here, and I'm glad to be a part of it. This is good stuff. I've this been looking forward to it all week. Yes! <laughs> Today's edition of Self Care Sunday, we are talking about protecting our peace, and we're gonna share how we work on ourselves to protect our peace. Okay. Amen. So, hello, hello. Hi. How you feeling? You feeling all right? I feel good. That's I feel good. Really good. I'm so ecstatic. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> Me too. I am. Me too. And um, this week, this week was a lot. Yeah. From yeah. work and life. School, and kids. Yeah. It's been crazy. It has. Yeah. It has. So, what has worked for you? What ways have you utilized to protect your peace? So... I don't think I realized I needed to protect my peace until a few months ago. Okay. I didn't realize my peace was up for grabs for other people to take it from me. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't protecting it. Like I protect my kids, like right. I protect my money, mm -hmm. like I protect my mind. Right. I wasn't protecting my peace. Mm -hmm. So I had to go to war for my peace and it. bring it back to my line. Right. Wave the white flag mm -hmm. and say, I don't want to be a part of that war anymore. My right. peace is mine. It's protected. Right. It's right. protected. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what? I have to say I agree with you. Thank okay, because sometimes you gotta fight. You gotta fight to get that piece. Yep. And then once you get it, now you gotta maintain. It's mine. And it takes it takes work. Yeah. To maintain. And I would say, like for me, um, my hardest struggle would be parenting. Yeah. Them kids is crazy. Girl. Them kids is crazy. And they will try you. Yep. And um, mm -hmm. and sometimes they say things mm -hmm. you don't like. Mm -hmm. And they do things that you mm. don't agree with. Jesus, talk about okay? it. Okay, okay. <laughs> and so um, I found myself, you know, where I am in my journey right now has to do what works for me. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't agree with that. And they say, well, what do you mean? Your kids come first. And I'm like, for me, no, they don't. Right. And I'll tell you why, okay? I know life without kids. They don't know life without me. Right, right. So I have lived without you. Mm -hmm. You've never lived without me. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I believe I deserve the utmost respect. Absolutely. Okay, and um, I'm a single parent. Mm -hmm. It's a one-man band. Yeah. You playing all the instruments. All of it. Yeah. And we got to stay nurture, on beat. Yes, mm -hmm. the provider, mm -hmm. disciplinary, everything. The nurse, the educator. Everything. The coach. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yes. And because this title of motherhood, this mm -hmm. title of mother, and it comes with everything, I know that for me, I have to check myself a lot, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, I'm human. Mm -hmm. And like I said, they might say and do things I don't like, and it's just like, yeah. That's yeah. what we're doing today. Yeah. 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 And so I have to, I have to, I have to refocus myself and say, hey, do you love you? Right. I do love me. You love you enough to just pick your battles here. Right. Step back a little bit. Mm hmm. Or are you willing to go to prison for the rest of your life? You know, these are questions that yeah, I ask you myself. You have to ask yourself. Yeah. And the thing about kids is we want it to get better when they get older. But right. I have an almost 22-year-old right. that sometimes I feel like I got to walk to California and snatch him back to life. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. what are you doing? Right. And it, so it doesn't necessarily get better as they get older, but at least yeah. sometimes they'll remember some of the things that you right. said. Yes. You know, they, he's not out here going crazy. He's mm -hmm. just doing stuff that I don't suggest. So, <laughs> girl, it gets, it gets nuts sometimes. Yes, and that is something else within the past few weeks that I had to come to this understanding of this gift of free will. Mm -hmm. We all have it. Yeah. Including these kids. <laughs> okay. Yes, like too. You can teach them. Mm -hmm. You can show them better. But they're going to make their own choices. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. That's not in your control. Mm -hmm. You control how you respond to it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just react. Right. 
but still understand that they're growing. And, you know, everyone was laughing at me lately because um, my oldest daughter, she'll be 16 in May. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so it's it's been interesting. Yeah. Just a friendly reminder that mm -hmm. there can only be one queen in the castle. One queen in the in the hive. One, one, one. Okay. Yeah. And, and I am that you. one. It's not you, it's kid. Me, sis. Right. It's me. It's not you, kid. And so, um, you know, she's been making choices that I don't always agree with. And you know, it's like, hey, Tone, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you short? <laughs> well, well, how are you fine? Let me tell you how I'm fine. Once again, that free will. And I am a firm believer that God is in control. Amen. And because he gave us free will. You know, who am I to block your blessing or your burden? Mm -hmm. Who am I? Yep. Okay, if this might be a part of your path. Yes, I can tell you that the stove is hot. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to say, I ain't going to touch it. Right. Or, well, let me see how hot it is. And my baby girl, she want to know how hot that yeah. fire is. Yeah. You touch it long enough, baby girl, you're going to... You're gonna burn. Yeah. You're gonna burn. You are. The skin go melt, mm -hmm. love, and it don't feel good. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we have to go through these things. Yeah. Grow through these things. Mm -hmm. Learn lessons. Mm -hmm. Take the blessings. You know. And call it a day. That's it. Yeah. I remember being 16. Mm -hmm. I remember being 16. It was not a good time. It was not a good nothing. time. Couldn't tell me nothing at 16. It's not a good time. Like, you think you have all the answers. You don't You don't know my life. Mm -hmm. You don't know what I go through. So I remember feeling yeah. like that. The thing about me when I was 16, though, is my mom didn't know my life because I didn't live with her. Okay. I moved in back with my mom mm -hmm. from my grandmother's house when I was 14, almost 15. Wow. So she didn't know she me. She didn't. And I made sure she knew she didn't know me. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm still kind of like that today. If you don't know me, you don't know me. Leave me alone. Okay. But... I can see now, I can look back over my mom, even though she didn't know me very well, mm -hmm. and she still had a lot of growing to do right. as a parent right. herself, especially this five foot 10, 15 year old coming into your house okay. that thinks she's grown. Right. My mother was taller than me, so I need you to know this is all giants mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. I still didn't hear her because she's not the one who brought me up. Right. She wasn't the one, so I would... If I were to go back and like show you a tape of my life at 16, mm -hmm. I would be so embarrassed. Yeah. Nobody would even believe that was me on tape. Girl. They'd be like, Asia, mm -hmm. that's you? That's you acting like that? Right. I have punched through glass windows, mm -hmm. just all kinds of drama. Okay. Just, <clears throat> just fighting like with my mom, screaming. Mm -hmm. You didn't raise me, lady. Ba 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 ba. It was disgusting. So I hated 16. Right. But 17 came along and brought a son. Yeah. So I should have listened at 16. Yeah. You know what? Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. Because let me tell you right now. <laughs> I've been telling everyone that it's a little difficult to be on this side. Mm -hmm. Because the mentality that she has. I remember. Yeah. I remember it. So I'm even explaining it to her. I know where this goes. Yeah. I was pregnant at 17. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Found out first semester of college. <laughs> Guess it's coming home. Mm -hmm. Girl. Yeah. You're like, yo, people looking at you like, you're a smart girl. Yes. And I'm like, well, am I dumb now? Or was right. I just stupid enough to find myself in this predicament? Right. Yeah. You know? Because mm -hmm. why they got these dogs out here? I'm sorry, that's going to be a part of the video. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, it was hard because I still thought I knew everything. Couldn't tell me nothing. I'm here with a baby on my hip. Yeah. He crying, I'm crying. Mm -hmm. I'm girl. calling the nurse. Yep. Why Over is he everything. Still <laughs> right. Over everything. Why is he crying? Girl. I got tests to take. Yeah. He was colicky. Mm -hmm. And it was just crazy. It was a lot. It was a lot. And my mama told me, she said, I ain't watching you young and we from the South. Mm -hmm. If you got to go to work, you better ask me in advance. Right. She was like, but for you to figure out school, all that, that's on you. And mm -hmm. she meant that. So at 17 years old, I was paying for daycare. I made $1 too much to get daycare assistance at $1. 17. So I was paying daycare, trying to go to college, right. no car, finding friends that could give me a ride and mm -hmm. stuff. And I'm like, dang, if I had just listened, just listen. I would it. be all right. Yeah, how life would be mm -hmm. so different mm -hmm. by just listening. Mm -hmm. However, you see, that those experiences brought you here. Yeah. How do you, how you feel about yourself? Now? Mm -hmm. Today? Today. Um, I feel fine. I feel so much better. I feel yes. at peace. Right. Um, you know, we talk about peace, and the first thing people are going to be like, well, what do you do for peace? Mm -hmm. You know, you take these hot baths, and I'm like, <laughs> no. Because then you literally stew it. Right. You just 
angry sitting in hot water yep stewing mm -hmm. so you got to really start like i said at the beginning you got to go to battle for that if you're tired of living in stress yes and self-doubt right. fear yep. putting yourself down because you put your own self down and then Child. other people take that as their permission to do the, to same, do the thing. same thing so when you do that when you settle for less settling when you start dealing with people that ain't worth a damn you okay. give other people permission you to do. treat you like that. Yes. And then when you start setting boundaries for mm -hmm. yourself, then they act like you did something. Mm -hmm. And you like, no, but I don't want to deal with that nonsense. And I don't have to. And that's and the I part. Don't. And I don't. And the good thing about me is I can tell you I don't want to deal with you, but I do it in such a professional manner. Mm -hmm. I think that pisses people off more. Do you do it with a smile? I do it with a smile. With a smile. I cannot. Yes allow you to step on past my boundaries mm -hmm. out of my own safety and out of my own protection protection and they're like yeah i've got people not talking to me now because i've said that exact thing i didn't say it nasty oh, girl. negative girl. family even i listen i tell you right now i was thankful thursdays mm -hmm. i always bring it up and i have to say i am very 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 thankful for those that have stepped out of my life yeah be blessed Please, mm -hmm. you know, because I won't. I don't want to deal with the burden of you mm -hmm. not allowing me to protect myself. Right. I don't want to deal with your yes. burdens. They don't have nothing to do with me. Oh, that's and if you want to keep going this way, yes. it's a choice. Have at it. Yeah, Hello, free will. It's a choice. Have at it. Yeah. But this function does not have to be a part of my daily no. or life routine. It doesn't have no. to be. It doesn't. It's all a choice. Mm -hmm. I like how you protect your peace. Yeah, I've got to protect it. I and do. sometimes I find myself like this year mm -hmm. or this past year, 2020 was a blessing. Right. Although we all hated COVID, yes. 2020 gave me a year of self-isolation. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. Yeah. Even though I am a very introverted per or extroverted person mm -hmm. and I love being around people, I love right. people's energy, baby, people was taking my energy as 100% free for all. Girl. And I was like, They Ugh. will. If you let them, they will. I'm exhausted from mm -hmm. dealing with people. Yes. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Can you do this? Can you do that? Do you know where I can find this? Do you? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, what is going on with you? Right. Why? You know, people will even get to the point, Isha, I need you to pray for me. Don't you know how to pray? Don't you know how to have a conversation? That's I pray all the time, and mm -hmm. yes, I'll pray for you, but I'm not taking on your job as your own prayer person. So listen here, listen here, okay? Especially when it comes to prayer, I do believe that prayer changes things. Mm -hmm, it okay, too. yes, yes, and I will have to tell you this though, all right, faith without works. Right. Need some work. Right. He said ask, and you shall receive. Right. But you're gonna have to do some work. Work. Yes. Work. On top of which, I can pray for you. I can pray for you. But if you don't activate that faith, and you don't believe in it for yourself, because sometimes you might have to borrow somebody else's faith. Yeah. Okay? Like, I don't see it for myself. But if she sees it, maybe something's there. Right. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe I'm going to listen. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm going to follow through mm -hmm. and see how this plays out. Right. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I know for me, I, um, I've set some boundaries. Mm -hmm. You know? It's hard. It is. Especially when you're used to being the go-to person. Yeah. When you're used to everyone coming to you and the I need, I need, I need, and can you do me a favor? We're like, no, no, thank you. Right. No, thank you. You you, yeah. you are right. I can tell you how you might can do it. Right. I got suggestions. Right. Are you open to suggestions? Oh, I like that. Yeah. Are you open to suggestions? Okay. If not, because mm -hmm. listen. I, I remember when people are going through things and I'm like, well, hey, you can do this. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, why don't you try this? No, no, no. Well, clearly you're not open to suggestions. So now I ask. Right. I ask. Even down to my friends, because mm -hmm. as I'm protecting my peace, I want to protect yours as well. Yeah. So if I'm having a moment, hey, do you find a vent session? Are okay. you open to it? Yeah. Okay, because I got to get this off my chest. Yeah. And you may not be in a space for it, so I don't want to dump on you. I don't want to unburden okay. on you. Same time, I'm not asking for an opinion. I'm not asking for empathy. I just need you to listen. Yeah. And if you're open to that, okay. And if you're not, thank you for telling me. Yeah. Because now you're protecting your peace. Exactly. I have a friend in Washington D.C. who is really good with that, mm -hmm. and she'll she'll say, Aisha, I need to vent. Are you in a space to accept it? I and I you. never understood why she did that, yes. but now I can see yeah. why. Mm. Yes. And. That's a thing that we need to learn to do is vent too. That's a part of your piece too, because sometimes sure, when we hold it, 
it hold it holds, it holds us. us. It and does. then it just you're sitting there and you're festering in that. Mm -hmm. um, I think another way we can learn to protect our peace is go to therapy. I'm here for therapy. I love my therapy. I am so here for therapy. Mm -hmm. They don't know me. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is so unbiased. You yeah, know? but the good thing about therapy is one, black health, mental health has come to a forefront, it has. especially women. Yes. So there are a lot more black women mental health therapists yes. than you think, and they get it. So no, they're not biased, no. but mine has been like, yes, girl. And I'm like, girl. Coming from a place <laughs> of love and understanding. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. That's, yes. That's what's that can you be. Mm -hmm. she, has, she has been able to talk me out of my strong woman shell to the point that I'm like, you know what? You're right. I don't have to be strong all no. the time. I can be vulnerable. Is that how I'm, I, yep. I hate that word because I can't pronounce you got it. it well. You got it. But the thing is, you put, you. put I keep putting myself in a place where I don't need others' help when in all actuality, I do. My vulnerability right. is not so forthcoming. Right. So you have to dig under there mm -hmm. to get it. Yeah. Because I find myself looking around at people and I'm like, well, how come you have help but I can't get any help? Because this. you don't show that yeah. you need help. You've got to learn to ask, ask for help. Yes. And so I totally, totally, totally can relate mm -hmm. to this. Once again, when you're used to being that go-to person, yeah. okay? And with me, like, my support system is who I created. Yeah. My tribe. Yeah. Okay? I've created my own family. Yeah. Yes, I have family. We share the same DNA. Right. Same name. Uh -huh. But I have my own family. Yeah. That I know that are there for me. Uh -huh. They're not there with expectation of well, what can I get from her? Right. Oh, you I know you got a stimulus. Oh, I know you got a refund. They don't have nothing to do with you. Nothing. Mind your business now. Right. Okay. And I'm on my right. mind. Right. But they're there genuinely for me. They love me for me. They yeah. encourage me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they will call me out. Right. Like right. they're supposed to. Right. Because right. I'm gonna do the same for them. So it's mutual love, mutual respect. And I so 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 appreciate that. Yeah. I've had to do that. Um, and it, I remember when I was in third grade, my teacher, it's really weird that people up here, a lot of people had, didn't have a black teacher until they were like older. Mm -hmm. My very first teacher was a black teacher right. and third grade, all that. So I always remember that. But Mrs. Morgan, mm -hmm. um, third grade, she told she told the class that she told me because I was key, key, key and you mm -hmm. know how we do. Right. Um, I don't know why you bother with these little girls anyway. All, you're never gonna find a real friend until you get to college. Yes. She was true. She was, yes. it was absolutely true. It's so, so true. I found my friends when I got to college. Yeah. So having that tribe for almost 20 years yeah. has been very helpful to me mm -hmm. because they've, they've had to watch me grow just as I've watched them grow. Right. We've watched each other turn into moms and together. all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. so you know me and Mashoma, we've been friends for a Forever. very long yeah. time. We met on our first day of college through her grandmother. Yeah. So she is one of my my tribes. She's like my tribe leader. Yeah. So it, it really resonates to have, you know, your good friends. But yeah. again, your friends, they have their certain seasons in they life. Do. And they have their certain areas in life. Mm -hmm. So I've just transitioned a friend out of her season. Okay. And that means I am transitioning too. Like we all have to transition. Yeah. We are not all doing the same thing. Girl, let me say about my friends, okay? My solid friends. <clears throat> I have stopped speaking to all of them. Wow. Every single one. Okay. There was a period of time in the journey where like I felt some type of way. And don't get me wrong, I'm in a different place now. Mm -hmm. But then, like, I, I don't think you're respecting this friendship. I'm good right now. Right. So they gotta put on pause, mm -hmm. okay? But this is how you know who's for you. When you can pick right back up where yeah. you left off, okay, yeah. where you can have a conversation mm -hmm. and explain, hey, this is what happened, love and understanding. Mm -hmm. And they're like, you know what, maybe I was wrong, yeah. or maybe, you know what, Tony? You might overreact a little bit, because I do do that, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm child, I'm not gonna lie. What, what? I mean, even 2020, you know, I, I have a sister, and um, it was brought to my attention that she may have said something but I didn't know for sure, okay? But I didn't like the response. And I was like, I left a voicemail, okay? <laughs> like, let me tell you, all right? We gotta take a long break. I'll call you in six months from now. You're blocked. Okay. What in the extreme? Like, how simple would it have been to just have a conversation and just explain? And eventually we did. Yeah. We had a conversation, 
okay? And, and yes, I did overreact. I did. And I just was explaining to her, like, which I can do now. My feelings were hurt. Yeah. My feelings were hurt. Mm -hmm. And instead of just saying, hey, you have your feelings, you have to try to be all strong. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, well, that's fine. I don't need this. Da, 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 da. No, my feelings was hurt. And I was like, well, that was my intention. Yeah. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. But this is what I was going through at that time. Okay. And I have to say that they are nice and loud. That while well, taking the time to understand myself, I can understand others better. Yeah. You yeah. Know? That makes a huge difference. It does. It's, and that's a part of your piece is mm -hmm. seeing yourself in the situation and where you might have gone wrong. Right. I even like the fact that you said, I'll talk to you in six months. I know six months may seem extreme. You're being extra, sir. I'm not, <laughs> is this, are we at the North Carolina Raceway? Right, right. That's what's happening. Um, yep. I, even though six months in itself is extreme, the fact that you gave a timeline mm -hmm. allowed me to calm down yes. and see what I need to bring back to right. this, and then we'll go from there. Right. I'm sure you shortened it from yeah, six months. Yeah, months. But it's, yep. it's what happens. Right. It's and what happens. Protecting your peace. Protect your peace. In my house, okay? In my house, this is how it goes. It's okay to get upset. Take 20 minutes to yourself. Mm -hmm. Calm down. Mm -hmm. When you're upset, you say things out of anger, yeah, out of sadness. Mm -hmm. You're projecting how you're feeling onto someone else. Mm -hmm. You want them to feel the way you do. I'm mad, so I want you to be mad too. Right. And I get that. Because I get that, I'm not going to internalize what you got going on right now. Right. Take 20 minutes. Calm and down. Calm down. Let's discuss it. So your house is a house of communication, yes. which I like. It's because really my house is a house of communication. Mm -hmm. um, the thing that... I feel like me and my kids, we over communicate sometimes. Yeah, me too. But, but they trust me. Mm -hmm. So they know they can come to me and say, Mommy. And then Jason makes her friends talk to me. I'm like, Not all the time. <laughs> kids, if you listen, sometimes Roy, I want to. Roy you know? is my exception because I love her so much. Yeah. And we, I've watched that baby grow up. So she's my exception. Right. But some of these other kids, I'd be like, Jason would be like, here, mom, here's such and such's mm -hmm. phone number. Yeah. So she can call you or her mom can call you. Yep. For what? Yeah, that's how I feel. And now. She's like, maybe we could do brunch. Excuse me? I think not. Shout out to kids. We're trying to pick your friends. They do. They Don't do. they? They try to pick your friends. Well, mom, if we go to the park, I'm going to tell, yo. Right. Calm down. I need to breathe. Yes. <laughs> Let me prepare. Is this even something I want to do right, right now? It's right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Because she knows once I meet the friends. Then they're going, Miss Aisha, and I'm like, yeah. okay, right. all right. Mom, can we have a sleepover? Mom, can we get mm -hmm. this? Because just in case somebody comes over, we can have some snacks. Yes. Just in case. You invited them. This ain't no just in Yeah, you case. had a plan. You knew what the deal mm -hmm. was. That's why you're asking me to be prepared. Right. But anyway, mm -hmm. these kids. These kids. But I want them to be able to go out into the world and communicate with yes. people. Because I don't know any fortune tellers. Miss Cleo has passed on. Yeah. So she was the only person I knew that was real. Okay, call me now. Yeah, okay, call me now. She was okay. the only person I knew that was real. So if you don't tell me what's going right. on, I have no idea. That's what we discussed mm -hmm. in the house. If I, and I don't piece. know, I can't fix it. You're right. And even if you can't talk about it right now, when you're ready, let me know. Yeah, and you can say that. Yes. Ma or whoever you're talking to, mm -hmm. I can't talk about it right now, but I will talk to you about you it. Go. Let me. Don't tell me there's it. nothing. Yeah. Well, clearly. Your face is telling me right. you're, you're upset. Or when your you swiped language. everything off the daggone table in anger. Shut, I don't have time for that. the whole room. I don't have time hey, for that. Hey, you all right? I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I used to do that as a little kid. Yeah. I didn't know how to get that out, not living with my right. mom. And then my right. grandmother was my grandmother and everything that was going on. So I used to break stuff. I used to fight people. I was a bully. You're upset. I was all of that. Why? Because I was pissed. Yeah. I was pissed. Where's my mom and dad? Right. Why y'all? Why y'all leave me here? Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't know how to ex even get that out. Right. So I did it in a way I wouldn't say anything, and I would just lash out at people. Yeah. And that's not cool. It takes a lot of energy to do that. It does. It really does. It does. So I I can't let my kids go through that. Mm -hmm. I didn't want them to go through that, regardless of what I had going on. Right. We needed to make sure we were okay because I didn't want my two children right. to go through the same thing I go through with my siblings, mm -hmm. which is we don't talk. Yeah. So I don't want that for them. And I, I tell that. my kids all the time, you know, if, if mommy dies and y'all aren't talking, I'm going to haunt both of y'all. Mm -hmm. You're going to wake up in the middle of the night and be sitting at the end of your bed like, why don't you talk to your brother? Call him. Why don't you talk to your sister? Text. Right. I'm going to be here Email. until you do. Mm -hmm. Just, just ghosting, just haunting, right. all of that. Right. So Jason's like, well, they don't ever have them. Yeah. Just in case it does. No, and I know. totally understand because even like as far as 
you know, myself, you know, I don't talk to all my siblings. Mm -hmm. uh, I talk to my one sister every single day. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, in passing and mm -hmm. stuff. And do I want it to be like this? No. no. But that goes back to protecting your Right. And sometimes family can be toxic. Yes, they can. And it's and scary. It's, it is. It is. Like toxic within themselves. And because they're toxic within themselves, you know, mm -hmm. they bring that. And I'm working on me. And I yeah. just told you I got some triggers and whatnot, okay? Yeah. And like, y'all don't, you, you won't bring out the best in me. Mm -hmm. You bring out the worst. And I don't wanna do that. Yeah. Like, that doesn't make me feel good to speak to you like this. Yeah. It doesn't make me feel good to treat you like this. So I have to remove myself. Yeah. And it's okay to put them on pause. Yeah. And when you're ready, and you've grown, you let go of some things, holla at me. Yeah. There's no ill feelings, you know? Parents, mm -hmm. we've gone without speaking. There's no ill feelings. It's very yeah. stressful because you know, like you and I both have really good friends. Yes. And you can find that you can talk with them. Well, Their family them. treats you like family Whoa. and all of that. Yes. But then your actual family same blood, same, it same DNA. It treats you like crap same and expects to, you to allow them to do that. Because we're family. Because we're family. But you know we're family too, so why are you right. treating me in such a that's manner? That's just what, we're family, that, you know, family business. Mm -hmm. That's just what, and I just, um, yeah, no, I don't have to. Right, and, and, I, I, and I remove myself from mm -hmm. it. I, I, I will say, when everything happened to me when I was little and I left my grandmother's house, mm -hmm. I went into foster care before I went to my mother. I was left by myself. Right. So going from there mm -hmm. and then going to my mom, right. and then when I had my son and I went off to college and things like that, there was an invisible sever mm -hmm. to my family right. at that point. Right. Like I can I can see family on my full family online, full ass family reunion. And I'm mm -hmm. like, what? I didn't even know. I didn't even know. And I'm like, yo, y'all bugging right now. But then you know they need something. Oh, they so don't. now I, I'm like, no, I they can't know your do that. I can't do that. They know your it's number. too much. Yeah. It's too much for me, and I won't allow it. I don't have to. Yeah. And God has given me a good vision to say, you can break generational curses. Talk about it. And you don't have to be there to make sure your family is okay. Absolutely. It's okay to move forward with just Absolutely. your family. Mm -hmm. And then your gen their generation starts after that. There you go. So you look back and you can be mm -hmm. your, your family's matriarch and you have those things that you want. Exactly. So it's 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 definitely difficult dealing mm -hmm. with family, but per my counselor, mm -hmm. I still don't have to let anybody take advantage of me. No. It doesn't matter who you are. It does not matter. Mom, dad, kids, mm -hmm. coworker, mm -hmm. boss. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes employers will try it too. Yeah. You know, you have oh, to do this. Oh, won't they try it? The yeah. Employers, yeah. They, they try it. They try it. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it go. It, listen. Listen, I have to say no, but it's one. Thank you. It's okay. No, this is what you have to do. I, I, I don't. I don't have time for I that don't. on my plate right now. Right. <laughs> yes. But if there's some space that opens up, I'll yeah. let you know. Right, I'll add it to the calendar. I'll get back to you. <laughs> I'll get back to you. Yes. Professionally. Yes. Respectfully. Right. I don't have time for that because I'm trying to fit this other hundred things that I'm doing. Exactly. To this eight hour day. Yeah. It's and that even crazy. goes to like, you know, I was speaking with my brother today. And we had some similar experiences, such as like, well, I haven't talked to you in a while. Like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. You know, it bothers me that I haven't heard from you. And I told him, I was like, you know, Marcus's father used to say this all the time. Phone works. The oh. phone works both ways as long as you pay the bill. All right. Okay. And if I did not respond to you, don't take it personal. I'm working on me right now. Yeah. I have goals. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. Home ownership. Is in my future, right. the near future. Right. Okay, investing mm -hmm. is in my future right now. Mm -hmm. Getting this business off the ground, bad personal growth and development, <laughs> is in the near future now. Right. So now. that's where my focus is. So don't take it personal. Yeah. Don't internalize this. Yeah. Has nothing to do with nothing you. Nothing to do. This is this is personal. Yeah. This is personal for me. Yeah. And I need you to understand yeah. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just be honest. You're not bothered. You miss me. Right. Okay. You can say you miss me. So and that's okay. I love that your that your focus is making sure that you're off the off the ground. Would you say that focus is your word for 2021? Focus is definitely my word for 2021. Okay. Mm -hmm. My focus word for 2021 has been strategy. I like it. It's been strategy I because like it. the stuff that I was doing wasn't working. 
I need to change my strategy. That's it. Yep. I need to change my strategy. Mm -hmm. And it has been such a blessing. Even last night as I was washing dishes after the girls sat down or whatever, mm -hmm. I was thinking about my home. And I always wanted like this big, beautiful home. I don't need a big home. Right. I just need a home for me and Jason because yeah. Adrian is grown. Right. Um, so my strategy for that has changed. Mm -hmm. Instead of thinking about this huge thing that I don't want to keep paying for. Okay. Let's think about it on smaller terms, right. but it still be fabulous and beautiful yes. like I want it to and be. And it'll be peaceful. And it'll be my peaceful, peaceful environment. How yeah. about my job? I'm like, Aisha, uh, the reason why you haven't exited certain things is because you're scared mm -hmm. that you're not going to do any better. Right. Why do I keep feeling like that when I see trash people doing better things? Girl, so girl, please don't trash people take offense. Listen, <laughs> please take offense. Listen here, okay? I've I've seen a lot of people that are moving, and it's like, like I tell everybody, I tell everybody, like we're all human, okay? Mm -hmm. So everybody laughs at me because I tend to talk about money a lot, right? And yes, I talk about Jay Z and I talk about Beyonce, okay? Because mm -hmm. we are gonna be and we're gonna be friends, okay? And <laughs> what's the difference? Nothing. They're human just like me. Yeah. If he could do it. Right. She can do it. I can do it too. Right. So if it, is it discipline? Oh, I can give me some discipline. Yeah. Do I need to change my habits? Oh, I, need, I can do that. Yeah. I can do that. And that's working on me. Yeah. With that being said, work protecting my peace. Right. Okay. Allowing you to work on yourself. Allowing me to focus on me and work on me. Mm -hmm. Change my attitude. And work on self-sabotage. Yes. Yeah, because that inner dialogue, yeah. like I tell everybody out here, I tell everybody out here, can nobody say anything to me that I probably ain't ever said to myself. Right. I know me. And what can I stop saying to myself? Exactly. The same way you can tear yourself down, you can build yourself up. You can build yourself up. Come on, Tom, let's go. Yeah. Oh, I don't really feel like it right now. Come on, let's go. Do it now. Yeah. Do it Get now. Up. Yeah. Get up. Ain't I nobody stopping you but you. Nobody. Nobody. I have to tell you, and everybody's going to be like, really? I have arthritis in both of my knees, and over the winter, it's yeah. been very difficult for me to walk. Girl, I can't believe you're so up here, up north. In the name of Jesus, I won't be within a year to 18 months. In, in the, the near future. Of, right? In, yeah. In the near future, I've got a date. Y'all mark this. Y'all mark this. I'm, I'm ready to we're go. Because we're going to have a congratulations. I'm ready to go. Yes. Um, But it was getting so hard to get on my knees, mm -hmm. and then I got COVID, so I was like stuck. I was right. hurting. Yeah. And it was very clear, you need to work out more. So I said, okay, 15 minutes every day. Tony, it is March 21st today. Okay. If we have gone through almost 90 days, I have worked out 85 of those days. Girl, you better if go it's ahead. something, even if it's something small, ahead. give yeah. me, I'll take at least 15 minutes. But I've been in the gym 40, 40, hour and a half mm -hmm. yesterday, three times a week at the yes. gym, five days a week at home. Yes. I can walk so much better now. Now it doesn't look like I'm right. really slimming down, no. but okay. it doesn't matter okay. because my knees feel the difference. Yep. Each body. pound your body. is 10 pounds off of your knees. Okay, you take he them was, off. He was like, um, my doctor was like, Dr. Williams, he said, Aisha, you have arthritis in your hips too. I said, I don't feel it mm -hmm. because I can move. Mm -hmm. I can move. Mm -hmm. You can't, the, for me to continue to do the same things I was doing right. to cause the arthritis to really get out of control. Right. I know I sound like an old lady now, nope. my arthritis, Lord Jesus. You but are right. You I are said, right. I got to change the strategy because I can't live like this. I'm That's not going to allow my body to turn That's on it. me. Take care of your body, mm -hmm. and your body will take care of you. Right. Child, I was telling y'all I didn't start a kickbox, and you can't tell oh, yet. Oh, yes, kickbox. Oh, yes. You do it with the lady in Glimble? I do. Okay, okay. Girl Fight Fitness. Okay. Hey, Manta. Yes. <laughs> yes, I Amanda. like the classes. Okay. They're nice and small. Okay. And I know before, like, going to the gym, you know, I didn't gain 20 pounds, lost 20 pounds. I've been big and small. Okay. Yeah. And it's like, oh, oh I don't want nobody looking at me. <coughs> Child, ain't nobody looking at you. They're not thinking about you. They working out just like you working just out. Just like you working okay. out. Okay. And now I like it because it's, listen, you have those that just started. You have those that's been doing it. Because mm -hmm. I was like, dang, everybody look amazing. I'm like, right. I mean, I want some of that. They getting it. Okay. And I'm they like. Tone. I'm trying to coordinate. I'm trying what to leg? Okay. <laughs> With the mask on. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Yes. One little leg. Okay. <laughs> and I said, you know what? This is good. Yeah. And I feel like it's holding myself accountable because I'm yes. like, I have to go to class. Yeah. And this is my time. And if you've paid for it. You better use it. Yeah. Yeah. And now I'm just going to give a plug to okay. people that don't know what their insurance benefits are. Okay. Contact your health insurance to see if there's any reimbursements for okay. wellness that you take care of. I know I'm getting back almost $400 this year what? for just going to 
the gym. That's it. Y'all better check that out, because I know I'm about to check that out. Check, okay. it out, check it out, girl. We'll talk after this, yes. so I can do the plug of who, where I work. But commercial mm-hmm. insurances, they want people to be well healthy, because if you are healthy... Talk about it. That's less claims. Listen! Listen. Your mind, your body, yes. all of it yes. plays together. It so take your money back. Take your money back. If you pay for those digital yes. apps, Peloton mm-hmm. ain't nobody's joke when it comes to the Ooh. amount that it costs. Ooh. Check with your insurance company, whether it's the green, the red, or the blue. Mm-hmm. Check with your insurance company. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes. I will always, I want people to be well. It makes such a difference. Mm-hmm. And I was telling my brother today, I was like, people don't understand that poverty is expensive. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. Poverty is expensive. Oh, my God. Okay. Not having access to quality care. Not having access to the grocery store. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what you going to do? Mm-hmm. Oh, I get this amount and maybe food stamps or cash, whatever it is. The corner store is right here. The corner store is overpriced. Right. And the food is a lot of times not fresh. No, it's, it's not. not. Dollar General, Family Dollar. It's quick, processed. Quick, Vienna sausages, yes. all of that. Child, I grew up on it, so I'm, that's why I'm yeah. talking about it, okay? With some hot sauce. Okay. We're not gonna talk I just told you I had these kids young. <laughs> I, we had some of that too. We knew what it was. Yeah. We knew what now, it was. Now we can eat fresh fruits, mm-hmm. okay, vegetables. Mm-hmm. I was never a fan of vegetables as a kid. But get to be a. a oh, I'm, learn, I'm in it now. Yeah, learn oh, different in. ways to cook them. Yes. I tell my, um, tell Shoma, and I joke with one of my friends mm-hmm. at work, I might be like the, one of three people in the world that actually likes kale and loves kale. I like kale. Okay, so it's me and you. you we got one more person. We got to find we them. There's three of them. Are you out there? <laughs> Who likes kale today? I kale. Yes. What? I'm make my smoothies. <laughs> My smoothies, I Salad? saute it. Okay. I do it kale and sweet potato hash. Ooh. You know, find where your body likes and go right. to a farmer's market. See yeah. what they got out there. Their food tastes yeah. better. to support the farmer's market. Food, I need yeah. a, you know, we have a, a black farmer mm-hmm. and I've seen them in Schenectady's farmer's market, okay. but I've also seen them in Albany's farmer's market. I need their name. I can't tell you what their name is, but yep. damn it, that lady doesn't make some good cookies. Yeah. Ooh, I'm supposed to be getting vegetables and I'm getting cookies. Okay. They're delicious okay. though. Oh my God. It's like, yes, grandma. Mm-hmm. I don't know whose grandma you are, but I appreciate I think you. I in Schaharie. Really? Ooh, there goes that. Shout out to friend of me. Ooh, still- when? <laughs> I think we're still going. <laughs> Woo! Here now, we if, are. if I was arthritic crippled. Hey, y'all. Oh, we had 37 minutes. Girl. You would not. I would not have been to. You see how the knees did that? The knees. That arthritis not kicking okay. in. Okay. <laughs> That's a moving to the gym. Okay. Yes. But it's, um, you gotta, you gotta really take it. That, that piece begins within and it even includes the food that you're eating. Just like we're talking about Everything this that food. you put in. Makes you feel Everything you put better. in. Better. Yeah. Everything. Music. Everything. TV. Okay, mm-hmm. everything that you are pouring into yourself, mm-hmm. everything that makes a difference. And remember to change your your attitude about yourself. We've said this more than one time. Mm-hmm. Start talking to yourself like you love that yourself. That attitude. Start saying, "I am worth that. I am. I am worth making more money. I am worth meeting a partner that is going to communicate with me and is going to date me because I don't play that stand at my house nonsense mm-hmm. and will let you know I don't play that." I already did that. Imagine that. You deserve yeah. somebody that's going to compliment your life and y'all are going to be able to want to do the same things and right. you don't have to compromise to be with somebody. Yes. You can be with somebody and y'all be good together because y'all want to be right. with each other. And y'all ain't got to like it. Other people ain't got to like it. Right. It if doesn't it have anything you, to do with them. Then work right. it out. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. My friend in D.C., the one I spoke of earlier, she said, Aisha, you are an accommodating woman. And I said, you know. I don't work in hospitality anymore. Why am I accommodating people so much? Ooh, talk about it. Why do I do talk that? About it. And I said, because I always want other people to be happy. Mm-hmm. So I will flit around mm-hmm. like Amelia Bedelia, right. making sure you're okay. okay. Who did that for me? Child, I'm putting you first. Right. I don't want to do that. I'm tired. Child, accommodate you. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm in work. I sc- I'm school. Got a kid. Mm-hmm. No, accommodate me. Okay. Make me some sweet potato and kale hash. Please, and thank and you. And my Arabic coffee. Mm-hmm. Like, help me help you. Yes. So I, I, I said, okay, sis. I said, you're right. And all of my friends said the same thing. Aisha, you're too accommodating. Mm-hmm. Because we have yet to meet that's the man thing. that's been on your list. It's never that man. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, but why? Why? 
because you don't think you're worth that man on your list. You've got to stop acting like that because you wouldn't want him if you weren't worth him. Let me tell you about lists, okay? Because I made me a list. Okay. I made me a list, and I met him, mm. okay? And after I met him, I had to revise list. Okay. <laughs> I said, oh, he beat everything. You know, there's a couple things I should have added on here. Uh -huh. You know? Like. And... <clears throat> You know, uh, being raised in the church, praise God, you know, that good girl, yeah. okay? And at the same time, reading a lot of uh, urban novels mm -hmm. and whatnot, you know. So you wanted like, a hood, you wanted a Christian thug? Uh, no, I okay. didn't want no Christian, nothing. Okay. I, I wanted, I was like, I'm going to be a ride or die chick, oh. okay? Who got a felony? Who on parole? That, that's the... That was a period of my life. I have grown from <laughs> praise God. This is me being open, honest, and transparent. Yeah. Okay, shout out to everybody I've dealt with with the F on the chest. And um, I'm in a different place now. Amen. That's not for me anymore. Yeah. 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 No, I've, I've done it. Visitations and packages yeah. and stuff. I, I don't have to. Right. I don't. Right. Even down to man with children. Yeah. You know, you have to know what works for you. Mm -hmm. I've done it. So do you not date men with children? Or I don't do want you? that. Okay, okay. I don't want that. Okay. All right. I have my own children. Okay. And I understand that, you know, children are priority. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people put children first. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I don't, you know. you Because you have to be well you to take care of your hello, kids. Hello, hello. If you ain't your best self, yeah. you know, good for them, mm -hmm. for anybody else. And then they take those coping mechanisms with them they until they're adult. Because mm -hmm. now you done created this environment. So if I'm toxic, these kids are growing up in a toxic environment. Yeah. So now you walk, you wondering why the baby's so angry and upset. Yeah, Mama upset. Right, okay? all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. You wonder why the baby is so constantly yelling. Mama yelling. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the house. I love you, Mama. She yelled. That's what she did. Okay, she yelled and she was upset mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. So I understand that now. Mm -hmm. Now when it comes to men with children, you know, there's moms. I don't want to deal with no mom. Okay. Okay. I don't. And even as far as children, you know, I went through that phase. You're not my mama. You're right. You're right. I'm not. And you have to be your mama. Okay? I'm another person to love you, yeah. support you, and, and care. That's it. Mm -hmm. You know? But I, I done dealt with that. Yeah. You know? It's the attitudes. Lot. Like, uh, baby girl, you just walked to my house. You didn't speak. <laughs> okay. You, over here, you say, hi. You, you say hello. Yeah. You know? You don't know people. Introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. I, I don't want to deal with that. Okay. Right now. See, I've never dealt with a man right that now. had teenage or, or that age kids. Right. I deal with older men, which I need to stop. Because they mm -hmm. in the name of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Um, they, God going to work it out. God going to work it out. <laughs> Um, but he's grown so children. I've never had that one. But for me to date a man with children, he has to have an active relationship with his children. Do not right. come to me with the well. I pay child support. Not enough. Okay, because Ben Franklin didn't do nothing with your kid. Mm -mm. Um, the mama won't let me see them. The devil's a liar. The nope. court works both ways. Just talk about telephone. It. Talk about it. And three. How am I to trust you with me when yes. you don't even take care of your blood? Like, you wilding. And the same goes for men and right. women. If you're dating a woman that doesn't take care of her kids or child and she has children, right. what the heck do you think she's going to do with you? No, seriously. What? what you, you thought she was different? That is the closest okay. relationship ever. Ever. And if they can just brush that kid away, what the? What do you think they're going to do with you? You think they're going to make you a priority? Jesus. Like I said, just, you know, right now. Okay, my baby's gonna be 16, and my youngest is three. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There, you got a, a good mix of people over oh, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't want any more kids. No. And you know, people, guys will be like, well, you know, that's why guys don't want to deal with you because you don't want no more kids. I'm 40. I'm not 20 years old. Who's playing the children? Listen, I shut I'm down done. The shop. I shut down the shop. That's one of the first questions. Yeah. I asked. Oh wow, I really like you. I'd really like to get to know you. Do you have children? No, but I would like to. Not over here. Be blessed. In the name of Jesus, be, be blessed. blessed. Because that's not my life. No, I'm not doing it. Yeah, for I already anyone. did this. For anyone. I already did this. It's no. time for me to travel. Mm -hmm. Jason is old enough to travel with me. Okay. And she's old enough to talk to me about things. What do I look like? 40 plus years old. Mama, I gotta go back to kindergarten and still make it. I didn't even want to make crafts with the two I got. Girl! I'm I like, I wasn't that mom. Shout out to okay. those moms, but I wasn't that mom. I was the one that kept you in your books, mm -hmm. but like the macaroni projects and stuff. I'm not doing it. I don't have an interest. I don't even know. I don't even know. Some of these things look like, mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
No, my baby's L. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not doing it's okay. And right. I don't want to do that again. I don't want to burden Jason with being the babysitter. Because that's what's going to happen. Yes. Sis. And you love kids so much? And that's something that <laughs> I have to work on with mine. Like, okay. Child, this, this ain't good. Come on. Your grandma pick you up from school every day. Help me, mom. Because I would be for real. Oh, for real. Nothing against the mothers that are out there doing it. It just doesn't work for it you. It doesn't work for and me. And it don't work for me. Yeah, I can't. No. Babe, daycare is expensive. Daycare is very expensive. Yeah, when you're not getting any help for very. daycare, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. Like twelve hundred, fifteen hundred dollars a month. A month. Like, that's a, that's, that's a mortgage. Whole mortgage. Mortgage. And a part of your car note. Yes. And that just went to daycare. I can't. And this is what I told everybody. I was like, listen, uh, I, I got high school, middle school, elementary, and daycare. I don't, you have the school system. I don't I don't need no one else. Right. Is. Yeah. Right. Don't get me wrong. If you are in a position to provide for yours and mine, and I can provide as well, mm -hmm. that's something totally different. But also I'm back into protecting our peace. Right. I mean, there will be. Right. You know, I broke men a lot of my life. Right. And you're not no. going to make me feel bad because I don't want any more kids. No, you're not. You don't have to stay with me if you want kids. I'm telling you. Listen, if you tell me you want children, once again, be blessed. Right. And I tell people this. This mm -hmm. isn't a 10th date conversation. Mm -hmm. This is right up front. I yes. don't want you to get this glamorized idea of me. Oh, she's really nice. Mm -hmm. She um she works really right. hard. She's smart. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, I'm not her. Not now, her. if you say I would like to spend the rest of my life traveling, there goes a I'm match. here. There goes a match. I've got all kinds of luggage. Mm -hmm. I've got bags. She's I ready. Can, I'm ready. Yes. And Google Translate if we want to really explore this world. Okay. But them kids, no. But we can take right. our kids. If you have children, mm -hmm. you've got teenagers right. or you've got older kids, I'm just like you. I'm all about it. I will encourage you. I'll be happy for yes. you. If you're nasty yes. to me, I'll put you in your place your first time. But I'll remind you, I'm, I'm you. still the adult. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to respect you. I expect you to do the same That's for it. me. But I will not mm -hmm. be the one to be like, let's plan a baby shower. Mm -mm. That's a kid every decade of my life. No. Y'all have the... Mm -mm. Y'all go. No. Yeah. And like I said, if that's what works for you, then go ahead. Continue yeah. to do what works for you. But this goes back to protecting our peace. Right. Okay? Right. And finding out what works. Right. And what doesn't. And I don't want to have to deal with somebody. Like, I know a lot of people, when I get married, mm -hmm. or because I am still... In you are my, a I'm still going to You're be a married. You're a message um, already. A lot of people get married because they have kids and they're like, let me just stay in this for the kids and right. stuff like that. I don't want you to be with me. I don't want you to marry me because I have a kid with you. I want you to marry me because you love me and you want to be with me. Period. Me. Period. Me. I add value to your life. Yeah. Like, I want you to be able to say, wow, she brings peace. Mm -hmm. And you have to be able to also. And we always have peace. that time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of 18th birthday divorces sitting, waiting and ready. Right. As soon as that kid hits the door, graduation. Out the door, yeah. divorce lawyer in the house. Right. And I never want that. No. I never want that. I need you to really be in this for the long run. Yeah. But we're growing together. Mm -hmm. We're evolving together. And no, we're not going to agree on everything. Mm -hmm. and, but let's keep it nice, mutual respect, right. love and understanding. Right. And you have your out. life. You you have your own things going on. I have my own things so going on. To. And then we come together. You we have still to have come together. Things. You have to yeah. have your own personal goals. Mm -hmm. I have my own personal goals. And then we have our goals together. Right. Okay. And we work this out. Mm -hmm. Because you're dealing with ever evolving and changing people. Absolutely. Nobody's going to be who they are today, mm -hmm. next year. No. Things change. Life them. experience. Mm -hmm. Life happens. Yeah, it does. It does. And it comes at you fast yes. and hard. Yeah. And you're like, what? But did, then you survive it, and you, you say, "How do I avoid this the next time? What did you or learn how, do, yeah. how, how do yeah. how do I get through this the next time?" Mm -hmm. So it's definitely one of those things. Again, you gotta fight for your peace. You do. I'm when, protect it. And and my favorite Hold on is to it. Okay. When somebody tells you who they are, believe it, because they'll tell you. Some of us tell you, like I can tell you exactly who I am, but some of us will show you. They will show you, and you're like, oh. Can That's not who you said you were. Can I be transparent? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I told you, 17. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I remember our first conversation, you know, and he said, uh, I ain't shit. I ain't never gonna be shit. First conversation. First conversation. Okay. I'm probably gonna end up dead or in jail. Ooh. There's power in your words. Is he older than you? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. There's power in your words. Mm -hmm. He ain't dead. But he's in jail. Mm hmm. Uh huh.
And there are people that will be out here trying to blame me uh -huh. or blame everybody else. He made a choice. We yeah. all have free will. Yeah. And there, he, he spoke that on mm -hmm. himself. Yes, he did. He did. Yes, he did. He did. He did. Yes, he did. Child, I, I was 17. Right. I'll be 35 this year. Okay, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it, he told me. He, he told you. So for me to expect anything else. Yeah. Like, if you think this much of yourself, you know? What am I supposed to do? But you, right. as a woman, the thing that we do and the thing that we're taught to do... Taught to do. ...is to change. Mm -hmm. Help people change. Mm -hmm. Why? Right. That don't got nothing to do with me. Mm -mm. I wasn't going to jail. Listen, change begins with it. Yeah. When you get that change of mind, change of heart, that's where it begins. Yeah. This is self. Yeah. Self. Yeah. Can't blame nobody else. Right. Wow, that was a red flag. It was. <coughs> Didn't I just tell you, seventeen child, I was high. That was a crimson was flag. Like, that was blood you know? red, like. But it was very run. memorable. It was memorable, right? And it right. was like, okay, yeah, it, it was there. So, what are the red flags that you look for now, so that you can keep your white flag of peace standing? Oh, red flags, red flags. Okay. Um, do you have a five-year plan? Okay, I like that. Yes. Okay. Yes. That if you don't, mm -hmm. you don't have a plan for your life. How are you gonna make a plan for our life? Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Yeah. Um, one of my red flags, and this is gonna sound very um, corny. Okay. Like I ask people, like, what do they like to do? Mm -hmm. And if they just sit in my house and chill, nope, be blessed. Okay. It doesn't mm -hmm. work. Mm -mm. It doesn't work. Just sit in my house and chill. Yeah. Okay. Or my favorite is when people will be like, well, the, you know, guys, that's what they do. No. That's what you allow them to do. Mm -hmm. Me, on the other hand, I've got other things going. Everybody's not like that. Yeah. Everybody's, Everybody's not, like not, not like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not a homebody, mm -hmm. technically, except right. for COVID. COVID. So I like to go out. I like to date. I like to take walks. Right. I love to do those things. Let's do it. Yeah. We ain't got to be laid up in the house. Right. So why do you feel as though... I should have to compromise that mm -hmm. for you. If right. you really like me, mm -hmm. you're going to try to meet me there. So right. sometimes we might relax, yeah. but other times we're going to be on the road. We're going to be out. Mm -hmm. You're going to see us in these streets. Right, okay. in these yeah. streets. Okay, we out here. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a red flag. Okay. Um, somebody that doesn't have an active relationship with their kids, that's huge for me. You know, that's it's so tacky yeah. because these guys really be out here trying to act like they're cute and got like five kids and they don't take care of none of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why do I just to keep playing with you? Because he was nice. What, girl? Because he made me feel special. He ain't got nothing, he ain't got time to do nothing else. Mm -hmm. If he's not doing anything with, with his kids or working, he, he really could just sit around all day and come up with things to say to you. Mm -hmm. When in all actuality, if he was doing what he was supposed to be doing with his kids, okay. he would have time still okay. to make you feel nice. Right. But them kids is gonna be what his what he's trying to take care of. Right. Too. Yeah. Yeah. You can't. You no. But we set that standard though. Mm -hmm. We do, women. We set the standard, and when we raise the standards in our lives, he can't just come to you. No. No. They really can't. They really can't. You can't. You don't meet the requirements. Be blessed with okay. yourself. So either you're going to step your game up. Right. Come correct or don't come at all. Or don't come at all. That's or it. my favorite is um, I've met a couple of guys that have already been involved. Mm -hmm. And they'll let me know that they're involved. And I'll say, okay, yeah, I'm good. No, no. That well, is so bold. Yeah. And they're like, well, you don't want to be lonely. No, they don't. Sweetie, I'll still be lonely dealing with you. You no, got to go home. You gotta go home. Why would I put up with that? Those type of men, those type of men, they they are so great. But there's so many women that let them do that. But see, this is the thing, though. This is the thing. So, so you you, you expect me to be on the side? Yeah. Okay. Well, you have to understand that you you just became one of five. Right. What do you mean? You think I was gonna be committed to you? You ain't even committed to yourself, or you get, right? Yeah, no. Don't you think you deserve no. better? That you would you love have yourself. Your, like, what type mm -hmm. of woman are you looking for that you gotta find a little piece of her in all these women? Mm -hmm. Find one. And that way you you got more energy. Take the time to find yourself. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're not seeking outside validation. It's for parking only. Yeah. Okay, love yourself enough. You don't have to do that. Yeah, I Plus like that. Plus it's tiring. Tiring. And I'm please bad with names, that. girl. Everybody, babe. Um, I'd be like, um, <laughs> um, what's his name? Craig. And he'd right. be like, that's not my name. Yeah. I didn't know. I just blew my cover. Well, I told you it was one of many, so, you know. <laughs> that's on you if you stay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I was open and honest, just like you were. Okay. Okay. This oh, was so good. annoying. This was really good. This is this is this is. I'm ready to come back next week. You gonna do it again? <laughs> yeah. 
Y'all coming back for another edition of Self Care? Yeah. Self-care? You gonna do it again? I am. I am. I forgot how much I love the camera and to be talking with people. It's good. So I'm like, podcast, podcast, podcast. I don't know. So I'm thinking. I'm gonna tell y'all a little something that we didn't say. This is the creator of a safe space. Uh huh. Uh huh. You guys can find her. You can. I am. I'm still there. Yes. But maybe I'll change the name. Okay. One of Mashoma's, um, her cousins. Shit. Who is Craig? Is Shelly. Mm-hmm. Anyway, love Craig. Love Shelly. Right. He said Aisha safe space might be too generic, and he's right. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking like peace with Ish. Or something, Ooh. something, something to promote you know that peace. Listen, listen, listen. Y'all let us know. What do you think of peace? Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it's it. catchy. It's yeah. memorable. Yeah. And I'm I'm so glad you thought of me when you thought about finding peace. Mm-hmm. If, I'm telling you, 2020 was a hell of a year. Right. She taught me so much. Oh, did she? But the, the ability right. to go into an isolation and mm-hmm. be there and... Nobody could ask me to do anything because we couldn't do anything couldn't at do all. I was unavailable. So it was yeah. like, mm. and then with everything that happened with the incident right. in August, right. I really had to look at myself and come to peace that I didn't think I was good enough to find some something better. Mm-hmm. And now I'm like, mm-hmm. like, what, what, what were you doing? Oh, God. <laughs> yes. Yes. Isha. Who was that? Right. Yeah. Girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're so do it. fun and bubbly. We do it. And, Get caught up in things yeah. in the moment. And yeah. then I was, and then I go back, I'm like, whoa. No, that wasn't even you. Right. What are you doing? Right. Yeah. Wait, that wasn't even me. No. So I had to come to a peace with that mm-hmm. and say, hey, hey you got to stop settling for these men that ain't for ding dong. Hey. They're not communicating, stop sis. Settling. They don't know anything that you want to do. Right. And it's tough for someone like me who's always looking to how I can better myself. Right. And you meet someone that's complacent. I tell everybody right now, okay? Either you're growing mm-hmm. or you're dying. Mm-hmm. So I got a lot to live. I got mm-hmm. a lot of life to live, okay? I, I just I just can't. Right. It's a lot. I don't want to be stagnant. Yeah. Okay? I don't want to be stagnant. No. I have I dreams. Won't. And I, like I told my dad. Actively said, pursuing. Actively pursuing mm-hmm. them. Like my dad is one of those people that try to rain on your par- parade. And I'm mm-hmm. like, bro, mm-hmm. I don't want your life. Right. I don't want to be your age Sometimes talking you call to it my out. kids Sometimes like you, you talk out. to me. Right. And I've had to set him in his place a couple of times. That was peaceful. Yes. And I was nervous after I did because I had out. cursed. Letting it out. And I said, Father, forgive me. He was like, I do. I was like, I was talking to the Lord. Shut up. It's funny to me. <laughs> that <laughs> is funny to me. <laughs> I, was, I was talking to my father, Jesus. Yeah. Oh. This wasn't about you. Right. I am not saying sorry yeah. to you. I don't care about what you got going on. No. But that was peaceful mm-hmm. because I could let that. Um, let it out. Let it out. Yep. And leave that you know we're taught honor thy mother and thy father right. we are taught that to be obedient yep. children. children and if they but if they are hurting us we gotta say no no i gotta let it go bro and there's nothing wrong with that once again people out there that i don't speak to okay as you are out there growing and i hope you are i want you to be Amen. blessed all right and i'm open mm-hmm. i'm willing and i'm ready but you gotta come correct yeah. Or don't come at all. Because that's a part of your boundary, which is yes. a part of your peace. My peace. My peace it's is a my priority. part of your peace. <laughs> yes. You can't let people take you out of that because mm-hmm. then you lashing out, acting like you don't act, and right. you're like, yo, that was really not me. And then you feel bad. Yeah. So, no, right. if you can't respect the boundaries, back it up. Back it up. That's my peace. This yeah. is where I want to be. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, it's caused me to lose. Like my nieces and nephews, but when God tells you he'll give you something still, I literally, for each niece and nephew that I've lost from my actual Child, siblings, listen. I have Godchildren those exact listen. ages. He always provides. Mm-hmm. He always He's provides. like, you'll never, you, nope, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. My goddaughter, same age as my niece. Right. My goddaughter, the same age as my niece. Mm-hmm. My godson, same right. age as my nephews. It's fine. Yeah. And until their parents get their ish together, I'm good. And I'm praying that you do. Right. I'm good. Because I want to see you be great. I'm good. I want to see you succeed and do whatever it is that yeah. you want to do. Yeah. Okay. I, I want to see. I want to see everybody win. Right. There's more than enough room. But more it doesn't room. mean I have to be in the cheering section right there. Child, listen. I can't do it for you. Yeah. Your journey, your path, for mine. Right. To block your blessing or your burden. Right. 
Right. That's it. That's all. I just pray that you're blessed. And I we're too. gonna call it a day. That's it. Because when we get to judgment day, he's not gonna ask me about you. He's gonna only ask me about me. About me. And what I do is a reflection of me. Mm -hmm. And what you do is a reflection of you. Mm -hmm. Anything in between. That's not right. my business. And don't keep using my Christianity as your reason to think you can be all on me. Cheryl, nope. Even Jesus about the table you. over. Let me tell you, we're not gonna do that. All right. We're okay. gonna stop doing that. Y'all don't want us to come to battle. Have you heard the gospel songs? We always battling. Always. We in the armor. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we ready to fight all the time. It's like Master P. Okay. <laughs> ready. <laughs> oh, this was good. Yeah. We gonna do it again. Yes. Oh my goodness. So thank you. Very if you sorry. did tune in, I hope you did. Join us again. We're doing this again. Um, again. next week or the week after? Next week is okay. It? We can do next week. Okay. Yeah, because Easter's the following week. Okay. Okay. And then I take a week off from work during spring break. It's my first time ever doing this. Really? So let me know if you've got some time during the week. Yeah. 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 Oh, and good. also, you know, if you, you get a moment mm -hmm. and you want to know about that wellness, shoot me a DM or something like okay. that. Even though I only work for one company, mm -hmm. Green, mm -hmm. um, I know about the other companies too. Yeah. That's called, called Competitive Edge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes. This was so great. Well, yeah. Listen, everybody, thank you for joining us. You can find Fab Personal Growth and Development on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, right here on YouTube. So tell a friend to tell a friend to join this Fab family and this Fab life. Yes. While we protect our peace and we are focusing on our attitude and we're changing our behavior. New ways, new things. Yeah, new strategies. Oh, new strategies. Yeah. That's, what, that's what we're doing. And don't forget to strategize your money, honey. Child, get your money together. Yeah. Mind right. Money right, Ash Cash, financial motivator. You can find him. He's great too. Okay. This is okay. good. This is All right. Good. This is good, y'all. Thank you so much.